a special thanks to Ryan for sending me these from uh, California. I'm so excited to try these three varieties. Um, I haven't had them before. They are um, Bergen Unknown, Unknown Passerelle, and uh, these three are Iraqis. So um, one of them came a little spoiled. Of uh, this, it's just perfect shape. There's no spoilage at all. It is a little big for <laughs> the size. Uh, and even the unknown passerelle, it holds up quite well compared to uh, the Iraqis, uh, tends to spoil. So I, I, I was able to save half of that one. <laughs> uh, these two are fine, but this, it was, it went to the trash, sadly. Um, so let's uh, give them a, uh, a taste and uh, see whether there are differences. Um, so since this is already um, cut up, I'll try this one first. So the Iraqi, um, it looks quite similar uh, to the Passarelli unknown one. Um, it's really hard to tell them apart if, if you don't taste them. So let's see if we can have a, a better look at them here. So, yeah, see it's hard to tell. I would not be able to tell them apart if they weren't labeled. <laughs> So we'll, we'll keep them there so we won't mix them up. So back to the Iraqi. That's a cat fight. There. You can see it's starting to spoil uh, a little bit. But uh, the top part, that should still be fine. It spoils from the bottom up. So this is why I have the top part right here. So it has a, a seed crunch, very much like the figs that you get dried in store like Costco and Trader Joe's. It's just like that, a very similar taste. Um, it is very ripe. Mm. Mm. I don't, I like other figs compared to this one, I was just um, tastes like dry figs, <laughs> you know, it's a fresh figs that I, I kind of like better. Um, it could be because it's very ripe. Uh, let me try <laughs> one that's not overly ripe. Maybe I'll like that a little better. Um, over here, let's go over here. Oh. Oh. We'll go for this one. No, 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 no. This mommy. This is mommy. Now I'm cheesy. Okay, if you want to eat it. For you. You can have that one. Now this no, one. no, this one is not okay. This one is mommy's. How about this one? Okay. All right. So, I'll, I'll taste this one from the top down. tastes a little better um, I want a big one. but it's kind of like a common brown turkey taste uh, not, not too impressive it, it was okay I want so a big one. let's <laughs> let's ignore the background noise from my son he, he doesn't quit I want a big no no not that one no nope, not I this want, one nope. I want a big one even him know the big one tastes better so the unknown passerelli I heard this is as good as a black Madeira. It's very tasty. Um, it is not common. Um, it is small in size, but productive, I heard. So um, let's try it. Lovely color. See, compare that to uh, the Iraqi. Take it back here. Even if we're eating it, I can tell the unknown Passarelli tastes much better. So, it is a small size, but look at that beauty. Very sweet and syrupy. You were, wait. Um, Um, let me see. 
has some berry flavor to it um, compared to the Iraqi, which is just sweet. So it's definitely more flavorful. Um, I like it better, but uh, I'm not sure if it is the best, uh, <laughs> as uh, I heard on uh, YouTube. Uh, but maybe I just need to eat more. <laughs> Um, the skin is thick, quite thick. That's why it holds quite well without spoilage. Mm. I think I would give it like a um, six because the sweetness is very sweet for me, for my taste. Um, so finally, the one that I try to keep away from my son, the big one. This is huge. So this is about three times the size of the Iraqi and the unknown Pressarelli. And it looks so appealing. Um, thank goodness my son didn't eat it. <laughs> have something to eat. Um, has a really nice tight eye right there. Lovely. Well, it'll be a little hard to cut with one hand, but I'll try. Beautiful, so jammy. Look at that, syrupy. Man, it is wonderful. Look at that beauty. So, let's try it. Wow, the sweetness of this is even sweeter than the unknown passerelli. It's much higher. Um, I don't have anything to measure it, but I can definitely taste it. Um, it has a light seed crunch. It's very good. Um, I think this would be like a, an eight out of 10 uh, if I were to rate it. Uh, the skin is very um, tasty. Uh, it's sometimes I don't like to eat the skin of the fig, but this one, I like to eat the whole thing. Um, you can get a good bite out of it. Very fleshy, too. So I can definitely eat a lot of this. Um, the second bite wasn't as sweet, so I, I think the sweetness, the bottom half, is much sweeter than the top half for some reason. But this is a really good fig. And um, I hope to hear that's a common one so I can grow it here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, thank you so much, Brian. I really appreciate the little surprise I got in the mail today. <laughs>